Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Docker. Today we are going to learn about the how to import data into the MySQL with the Docker Compose. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to let's create a directory of this for the SQL dump. That is SQL dump over here. So let me copy and create a file over here new folder that is sql dump let's do a uh, one import with my local php my admin so local host so here i'm going to add php has slash add minor so i'm going to import any of the db right now so here i'm going to import the db with the help of this so any of the db my db one there is uh, no any other db we have test db is there right no Let's take an example of the WordPress. Okay, export this one. Export the data with the save option. Export SQL file is exported. Let's go and just copy this and add into our folder. So here we have the SQL. Let's paste this. Okay, let's go to the code. So here SQL dump, we have pasted, update the Docker file. So what we have to update, just we have to update the volumes. So here this we have to uh, in volumes we have to update those who haven't watched the previous one let's please watch the previous and just update like this so i think there is issue with the volumes right so let me add this okay the red error is gone and here sql dump so automatically this is the entry point whatever the sql file is there it automatically import that one okay let's have a look okay so this is done so let's control c this and uh, let's go to the run the another command that is composer down v v flag removes the volumes associated with the container ensuring the fresh start because we have to import that part right so here we have to go with the hyphen v okay so done let's go with the compose up okay so let's see and here you can see everything okay i think everything is done let's have a look with the ssh that the db is imported or not okay let's go and check this one so here i think this is connection is shut down because we have already done that one so let's go and execute the bash command. Let me go with the doc, sudo docker ps with the mysql. This is d3. Right, let's me copy this. And let's add the interactive with the help of this. Because I need the bash over here. Okay, so let's go and do with the connection with mysql root. Right, because we have created this user okay and let's add the password over there okay now we are going to do the show, ta show databases right because we have done with the databases right and here you can see there is a no import right i think the table name the test db that is not created over here so first we will create a database so create database base uh, the name is i think test db i suppose db okay so if i go and check the show databases so test db is there and let's check this one this is sorry it's wordpress okay so we have to create another one that is wordpress okay so it's wordpress right so this is done otherwise you can mention it in our docker.compose yml file that we need a database with wordpress because here i need to import okay again we have to control c this one and let's go with the hyphen down this one okay then compose up okay let's have a look this is running and this is shut down let's go with the docker ps and container is this one so let's go with the interactive with bash over here 
So let's go and run the mysql root command. Okay, let's add the password. Okay, so let's go with the show databases. The WordPress is not there. We have created the WordPress. Let's put this in the file over here. Where is, I think I have just make it database. I will add over here the WordPress. Okay, and in the WordPress, it will use this one. Let's go and do this again. Okay, do with the fresh installation. Here you can see creating the database WordPress and I think importing part is also doing that when let's have a look the tables are imported or not so let's go and just go with the docker ps and this is my container okay so interactive bash go with this okay so mysql username root i need to add okay let's add the password over here and let's go show databases so here you can see the wordpress is now here okay let's have a check like um, the tables show ta uh, use use wordpress okay show tables because we have we have to check that the tables are there or not and here you can see the database is imported successfully any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day.